Today on the newscast, did the U.S. just leak critical information to the New York Times about Israel's role in the assassination of an Iranian colonel? Get all the breaking details next. Hey folks, Eric Stackelbeck here. Welcome to the Watchman newscast. We've got more fallout from the assassination of that Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps colonel last weekend in Tehran. Just to recap real quick, Hassan Sayyad Kodai was a top official in the IRGC who was in charge of targeting Israelis and Jews around the world with terror attacks. Well, last Sunday in Tehran, he was parked in a car outside of his home when a motorcycle pulled up alongside the car and two assailants reportedly opened fire, five shots into the car killing Kodai. No one claimed responsibility, but of course the Iranian regime is fingering Israel as being behind the attack. Israel, again, has not said anything, uh, whether they were involved in any way, but now their hand may be forced a bit because yesterday, here's the new details that we have, Wednesday, May 25th, the New York Times published a report citing what it called an unnamed intelligence source didn't give a name, didn't give a country from where this intelligence source hailed. This intelligence source said that Israel told U.S. officials that it indeed was behind the elimination of Hassan Sayyad Kodai. Now, Israel is reportedly furious about this leak. Usually, hey folks, you know the MO if you watch the Watchman newscast on a regular basis. Usually, Israel does not confirm or deny any involvement in these assassinations or airstrikes in Syria against Iranian assets. Now, it looks like the U.S. or US, a U.S. unnamed, again, U.S. intelligence source leaked this information exposing Israel. Now, the New York Times piece goes on to describe Kodai, again, a very unsavory character, to say the least. The, the word I would use is evil. He was a integral part of something called Unit 840. It's a shadowy organization within the organization of the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps Quds Force, and Unit 840, again, was very involved in planning assassinations abroad. In particular, Kodai was focused on the Middle East region and targeting Israelis and Jews there in and around the Middle East, including a place like Cyprus. The UAE was another place where he had tried to plot attacks over the past few years. Now, thankfully, each and every one of these attacks was broken up, but Kodai may have, may have had larger plans that Israel was aware of, and they decided to act preemptively before he could get any more Israeli uh, blood on his hands. But Israel did not want to be so public about it, of course. But now this leak to the New York Times has made it public. Again, uh, some kind of intelligence source, most likely from the Biden administration, uh, the intel arm of the Biden administration, saying, hey, Israel came clean. They shared with us that they did it. Israel, again, furious. Uh, a top Knesset member today who heads up Israel's foreign affairs and defense committee said, hey, this harms trust between Israel and the U.S. And he's right. Now, again, the New York Times didn't say which country this intel source came from, but Israeli officials, according to various Israeli media accounts, are positive this leak came from the United States, and it can only be seen as a betrayal of trust uh, by the Biden administration, and it's not the first time. Remember that shadow war that we documented so much here in the newscast earlier this year and late last year, uh, the shadow war at sea when Israeli ships and Iranian ships, it was kind of a tit-for-tat, cat-and-mouse game where Israeli ships were bombed, Iranian ships were bombed, and none of the ships were sunk, but explosive devices were planted on these ships. There were some drone attacks where people were killed in one Iranian attack. Uh, apparently, what Israel believes is a, quote, the, the unnamed U.S. intelligence official, once again, exposed some of these Israeli activities to the Wall Street Journal, and they published a piece saying, hey, Israel is taking out Iranian shipping that's heading to Syria. Israel was not happy about that as well. And how would you feel if 
a nation that is an ostensible ally is exposing your very sensitive covert operations that are designed to protect the state of Israel. And when Israel does that in the process, they are also protecting the entire Middle East and the West, including the United States. Whenever a terror plot is broken up and a terrorist, a lead arch terrorist, is eliminated. So Israel, uh, none too happy and rightfully so. We'll see where this goes, if any controversy mounts there. But Israel has been an incredible asset to the United States. That's why it's kind of disheartening to see on the intel level this leak happened because Israel has shared so much sensitive intelligence with the United States since 9-11 in particular. Folks, over the past 21 years or so, Israel has helped the U.S. break up hundreds, if not thousands, of terror plots targeting Americans. That is with intricate involvement from Israel and Israel Security Services helping America and sounding the alarm to the United States about various plots around the world against Americans. So Israel, people say, hey, well, uh, the U.S. has done so much for Israel, helping to give Israel or build up Israel's military. True. But it is not a one-way relationship, to say the least. Israeli intelligence services have done much to bolster the security of the United States as well. Hey, one last note before we go. And again, we will keep a close eye uh, on this developing story, the controversy over this leak. By the way, if you have not subscribed to the Watchman News channel, be sure to give us a subscribe here and click the notification bell so you get alerts every time a new video is posted every day, Monday through Friday, and sometimes on the weekend, depending on the news cycle. As you can see, a lot is going on right now in the world's most volatile and chaotic region, the Middle East. We break it down here, how it all impacts you, no matter where you live. One last note before we go. Iran's Parchin nuclear site. Now, this is a site near the capital of Tehran. Uh, yesterday, Wednesday, May 25th, apparently an Iranian engineer working at that nuclear site died under mysterious circumstances. Uh, now, Parchin is a place where Iran reportedly does nuclear experimentation related to nuclear weapons. And this brings us back to Israel's covert activities. Many times over the past few years, Israel has targeted Iran's nuclear facilities within Iran, targeted Iranian uh, ballistic missile factories and stockpiles as well, all covert. Uh, could this be another case in Parchin? We're keeping a close eye on it. It would not be a surprise, but again, that gives you an idea, folks, of how sensitive it is to have an ally leaking information to the media about these sensitive operations. Wow. We'll continue to keep a close eye on it until tomorrow. Thanks so much for joining us here in the Watchman Newscast. God bless you. And remember, never hold your peace. Hey, everyone. Thanks for checking out the Watchman Newscast. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button click subscribe and tap the bell icon to turn on notifications for new Watchmen newscast episodes every weekday.